This is a Campagnola left hand shifter QS. Um, I've already removed the the lever pin for the brake lever, um, which is a push fit, pretty strong one. Um, if you're ever putting this back together, this appears to be always on the side of the thumb button. Although can it be easily pushed across to the other side as well. Um, and that just lifts off. There's no springs or anything keeping that in place. Um, I had to cut the the grip. It was just impossible to get off. So you're going to have to replace that if you're going to do this job. The um, side lever had snapped off. It hadn't been in a crash or anything. So I'm not too sure how well Campagnola make these. Return spring up here. Uh, and also to help it, there's another spring inside here as well. So this just pulls off. spring under here to help the return and it sticks out here so it latches on there that little so what we need to do is undo this allen key which is a two and a half this one because that shaft goes all the way through and um, what I found easier was just putting something in here just to stop it spinning Your coil spring. It's just attached on here and in the middle here in this slot. Just lifts off two. Here are your notches for the different positions for the left shifter. So this shape here clearly just fits onto this.
On this shifter there's uh, this little gear cog here, ratchet. Now there's a little arrow on here and it faces forwards And there's a small flat washer. Um, so let's have a look. This can't be removed. This rivet here and this rivet here going into the plastic body. Um, so if they're broken, you're done for. And there's a small spring at the back here. That's press against. Again, you're not getting any of those out. Uh, so all fits in a brass insert here. And this can be pushed out in a second. Once we've taken off this spring. And it's held in here at this point. And hooks in. the lever just here. Just drop this out first. And then it's normal resting position, it's like this with these gear teeth on this side. This will slide out and has a, an L stamped on it. So that's the down, downside and this is the top side. Um, you can't do anything else more here. You can pull these apart. You could get this out if you wanted to, but then you've got to squeeze it back together, and it'll always be left with a bit of spring if you do that. Whereas originally it will be 
whenever they've made it, it's it's nice and tight. Nice good tight fit there. Uh, and that is pretty much it. There's one washer in here. So the wear, the rings of wear were down on the brass. And that's it, extremely simple compared to a Shimano shifter. So if we just put these back in. See how it fits together. So that's the top section through the plastic, and then we have the spring. on the top a washer which then goes through the body of the moulding small stainless steel washer So with the lever facing forwards, this arrow here was also facing forwards. Then we had the gear pulley cable pulley with the spring and then finally little big washer Thank mm -hmm. you.